I am absolutely done with that overrated, blubbering British buffoon Regal. He thinks Raw is better than SmackDown? Well, at War Games, the blue brand will reign supreme, especially with you as our team captain leading the way. Hold on. Did you just name me SmackDown's team captain? Yeah, why wouldn't I? You're our champion. You've had the title on lockdown for years now. Yeah, despite everything you've done to try to take it from me. I mean, I assumed you were going to pick anyone but me. Where is this coming from? You sound like Regal. I've been Team Dark Horse since the beginning. Man, I am shocked you think I feel that way. Whatever, Miz. Who else do you have to round out our side? I got your old BFF Ben Balor on board. You're welcome. And even better, I'm going to let you choose your other two teammates. See? Told you I'm on your side. I still find that hard to believe. So Finn and two other partners of my choice. I'll see what I can come up with. Great. Make sure you choose carefully, though. Since Raw has all champions and an established faction making up three quarters of their team. But no pressure. You got this. Hey, Rhea. You, uh, interested in joining Team SmackDown for War Games? You wish. I actually want to talk to you on behalf of Dominic. What's Dom so afraid of saying to my face? Not afraid. He just doesn't think you deserve his time after he helped you beat Kane with the taser and you never really thanked him after. That's not quite how I remember it. Whatever. I'm not here to argue about the past. I have a proposal. Dominic would be willing to put any ill will aside and join your team for war games if you did something for him in return. What's mommy's boy have in mind? Take out Dom's old man once and for all in an ambulance match. Ray's a legend. That's a bit brutal, even by your standards. If you want Dom's services, that's the offer. Take it or leave it. Having Dominic on my team isn't worth attacking a WWE Hall of Famer like Ray. Tell Dom he can find someone else to do his dirty work. You're clearly not thinking straight. If you come to your senses, let me know. You here to spy on me, Troy? No. I'm here on behalf of Miz to make sure you're staying on task to recruit two teammates for SmackDown Survivor Series War Games team. So have you done that yet? Eh, not quite. Survivor Series will be here before we know it. So come on, go find some teammates now, or we'll have to choose for you. Thanks, Troy. What would I do without you? I'm going to get right to the point. You need me for war games. Okay, I'll cut to the chase too. I'm 3-0 against you. So what makes you think you're worthy of being part of Team SmackDown? I've been in two war games matches, which is two more than your zero. And Finn, he's never been in one either. You need my experience. In fact, you guys should be begging me to join your team. I don't know about all that. And even if I did want you on our team, I don't think there's any way I could trust you. You don't need to trust me. I'll be your hired gun. You tell me who to take out, and I'll get the job done. I'll think about it. No, I meant that literally. Tell me who to take out, and I'll go do it. I shouldn't have to, but if it proves you need me for war games, then I will. I've seen enough of you over the years, and one match isn't going to change my opinion. So no thanks. And you call yourself a team captain? <laughs> wow. A 
<laughs> Grayson, shouldn't you be down in NXT losing title matches? <laughs> Hilarious. But full disclosure, the Grayson Moore effect has lost some momentum ever since you lost in NXT and caught me off guard. That's one way to describe it, but why are you here? First of all, the biggest box office superstar can go wherever he wants. But I'm here because I have the perfect way to rejuvenate my career. I waltz in the SmackDown and beat the WWE Universal Champion. For someone who just admitted they've been on a cold streak, I don't see that happening. Besides, I already beat you twice. Actually, more than twice since our rematch was an Iron Man. But you never once put your WWE Universal Championship on the line in our matches while I risk the NXT title. It's only fair if you give me a chance at your gold now. I'm not sure you understand the meaning of fair, but what's in it for me? I heard you're looking to fill out your side for Survivor Series, and who better to team with than a former War Games winner like myself? Of course, Miz would probably make me team captain once I'm WWE Universal Champion, but we'll worry about those details later. I'm gonna pursue other options. Might. Don't you mate me. You'll regret this. I highly doubt that. Did you realize you were making a huge mistake turning down my offer? I'm not promising Dom will make the team, but I'd like to have the option. I'll take on Ray. We don't need you to take him on. We need you to send him to the hospital in that ambulance. Get the job done. in sports entertainment. Making his way to the ring, representing the LWO from San Diego, California, weighing in at 175 pounds, Ray Mysterio. There really is no challenge that can be considered impossible when it comes to Ray Mysterio. This dude has made a career out of defying the odds. It's the Warrior who's followed a dusty trail from the fringes to the spotlight. And his opponent, from Accra, Ghana, weighing in at 210 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal champion, the Virgil Hero. There's a lot of hype surrounding this guy, but I'm not convinced there's enough talent to back it up. Frankly, I'm starting to think that Dark Horse is nothing more than a forgettable donkey. Hey, donkeys play a vital role in agriculture, and this guy is playing a vital role in today's WWE. Seriously, Byron? The Champs Dex Challenge starts now.
The following contest is an ambulance match. There are no pinfalls, submissions, disqualifications, or countouts. The only way to win is for a superstar to force their opponent into the ambulance by any means necessary. After closing both doors, the remaining superstar will be declared the winner! Now, let the match begin! Whenever an ambulance shows up at ringside, that means a superstar has had one of the worst days of their career. In this match, the ambulance shows up before anything happens. What does the WWE Universal Champ have against Rey Mysterio to have this type of match against him? The longer that championship stays around someone's waist, the more brutal they become. Oh, oh my God, what an elbow. Oh, man, meeting the barricade. <laughs> Setting up. Oh, vicious Russian leg sweep. Right into the barricade. And now thrown back into the ring. He takes control. It's a guy right on the mark. Oh, impressive counter. Heads out, and he has all the time he wants. Elbow puts an end to that. Face breaker. breaker. Has it hooked in. Inverted vertical suplex. You've got to wonder if Ray can withstand this. Mysterio's fairy tale's looking dark, gentlemen. for a European arm breaker. <laughs> Look at this. Pendulum backbreaker. Tick tock. Measured elbow drop driven down. Swinging those ambulance doors open. Could have one thing in mind. Boy, a European uppercut. Catches the leg. A stalemate of counters. Could be what he needed to ignite a rally. Ooh. Oh, he's just getting thrown around out here. Yeah, and he keeps struggling to slow the opposition down. And to Gary. Oh, man. Return fire on Ray. Holy meet the barricade. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? Oh, oh my God. Ray just can't stop this attack. But Mysterio won't give up, guys. Caught in a bad position here. Oh, the back of the ambulance. This could be over. Trying to at least slam one door shut. Halfway to victory. Surviving the shutting door and escaping the ambulance. And the match continues. Great wherewithal on the counter. He must have had that scouted. Oh, just turn that around. Looks like he has the upper hand now. He's hitting on all cylinders right now. Oh, an uppercut. That'll cost some teeth. He has just completely lost his win. Oh, nice takedown. They're going to lock it in. Oh, 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 oh. Locked. Oh, a bell lock is in. Well, this isn't going to win the fall, but it's going to do a lot of damage. And he chooses to let go of the hold. 
But just the amount of time he was in that submission could be very significant. Rey Mysterio is in some serious trouble. Rey's got to find a way to defend himself. And he had Rey's number there. Look at this, going counter for counter. Each competitor showing they've done their homework. Oof! Lands the haymaker. Punch straight to the face, stays off the attack. Being dragged and mangled all the way to the back doors of the ambulance. He switches it back around. Oh! And he gets delivered back into the ring. This superstar delivers the rolling cutter and not done yet. Make it a second time. And how about... Yes, they do. Mysterio grounded. The ultimate underdog needs a miracle. Unlucky spot for Ray. Check your face after that one. And now is the time. Now is his moment. He's got to get him into the ambulance fast if he wants to end this thing. Out of the ring. What's his plan here? Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Mysterio counters quickly. Ray managing to find some of that needed breathing room. He's showing it's not time for lying down. It's time for fighting back. Being carried around with ease. As their opponent in the ambulance and one step closer to victory. This is a hell of a struggle. Just try to close one door. Halfway to victory if they can do it. Second door closed. And they can slam this door shut. It's over. I can't believe it's so close. Uh, There's no way this is happening. They escaped. Miraculous. Great strength being shown here. Saw that one coming. Oh. Jab to the throat. Up and around. Cutter takes him down. Launched into the ambulance. Look at the struggle just to shut that first door. Oh, what a powerhouse collision here. One door is shut. We could be looking at the end here. Just close the second door, and victory is yours. Shut the door, seal their fate. And they're not ready to let this end just yet. Still more fight to be had. What grace float over into the DDT fight. Okay, he's re-entering the ring. Top rope, putting it all from the top, through the air, and connects. The one-two punch of high risk, high reward. Well-placed kick. so he can put him back down. Out of the way in time. Incredible striking combination. You've got to wonder if Ray can withstand this. Mysterio's fairy tale looking dark. Set up for a second time. Driving the face down. This is the opening. A chance to end this ambulance match and stop this anarchy. Ripcord. Lariat.
Watch out. Ray moves out of trouble. What awareness seeing Ray coming. Oh. It's a good. Right on the mark. He's got the answer for that one. Mysterio finally creates some more offense for himself. The U-turn Mysterio needed in this match could have been that right there. Good timing with that reversal. And now getting posted up in front of the ambulance doors, just motionless here. Bang! <laughs> Trying to force the first door. First door shot, needs one more. Pushing with every fiber of their being to slam the door. And they actually escaped from the ambulance. This battle rolls on. Oh my gosh. Ray just can't stop this attack. And Mysterio needs to fight back. Yes, Destroyer connects. Ray still looking on the top of his game. Getting an up close and personal view of their ride out of this arena. Return fire on Ray. Oh, that had to hurt. Ooh, the door. Enzigiri. Looks like they're looking for a clover leaf into a backbreaker. Fantastic. Compromised position here. And launched into the back of the ambulance. That's not where this superstar wants to be right now. Desperately trying to close the first of two doors. Just has to make sure to get the other door locked. Inches away from ending this. Forcing their way out of the ambulance. Rey Mysterio is in some serious trouble. Rey's got to find a way to defend himself. As the arm ringer, able to fight out with a punch in the face. Toss back into the ring. Oh, strong impact. Kick right on point. Looking vulnerable on that top turnbuckle. Perched up top, could be looking for a superplex. Maybe something more. This is gonna be big. It's gonna hurt. Falconero! Almost put him through the ring. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Right in the face. My God. He isn't finding any space to recover. He's on his heels, that's for sure. Elbow drop. More on the horizon. Uh oh. Ray's veteran instincts on display. Series of reversals. What grace. Float over him. And float over. Nice. DDT. He moves just in time. Outside the ring now. He has no need to rush. <laughs> Tilt the world. Arm drag. Ray just can't stop this attack. But Mysterio won't give up, guys. <laughs> yeah, the O'Reilly combo. Whatever's playing here can't be good. Oh, into the back of the ambulance. This could be over. This is a hell of a struggle. Just try to halfway home now. Oh, trying to close the second door with the match. Inches away from victory. And with that, they have won the ambulance match. Make space at the local medical facility. Here is your winner, the Virgil Hero. Inconceivable. How does this guy keep beating the odds? I don't believe it. It sounded like he had money on his opponents or something. Start believing, Corey. 
I can't imagine the feeling when those doors slam shut and you know you've lost. That has to be devastating. I'm going to get right to the point. You need me for war games. Okay, I'll cut to the chase too. I'm proud I, of you. I'll think about no, it. No, I meant that. Okay, fine. But I want you to do this in an actual match, not attacking someone from behind like you usually do. Whatever. Just name an opponent. Okay, hired gun. Go see if you can take down Omas. If that's what you want, I'll do it. Here comes the prize fighter. Kevin Owens is always ready for a fight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Marieville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, Kevin Owens! Throughout his career, KO has let it be known he will fight anyone, anywhere. Truly, Kevin Owens has no hint of fear in his being. Being a Grand Slam champion, you know Owens has accomplished it all. And he's still giving every match his all. Well, it's just the kind of guy KO is. It doesn't matter what he's accomplished in the past. It's all about his future. Behold the Nigerian Giant. An absolute colossus. When it comes to Omos, there is no preparing, just brace for impact. And his opponent, from Lagos, Nigeria, weighing in at 400 pounds, the Nigerian Giant, Omos! The size of Omos must be seen to be believed. Looms over the entire ring, and the locker room for that matter. Omas is just as powerful as he is towering. Right about that one, Saxton. Omas truly is one guy you don't, under any circumstance, ever want to mess with. You're going to have to scrap and claw your way against the wily veteran tactics of Kevin Owens. You're right, Cole, but even that may not be enough. Owens is in a nasty mood tonight. Kevin Owens always has a malicious look in his eye, but tonight I'm seeing an extra violent twinkle. Now, there are rumors that the WWE Universal Champion is looking at Kevin Owens for cover! Oh, my, how in the world did he kick out of that? These men knew this match was going to be hard fought. Vicious, downright savage club right there. He turns it around. Owens avoids that one. Caught him with a big boot. On the mark. He manages to escape it. Oh, using the turnbuckle to neutralize their opponent. Taking things way too far. All's fair in love and war, gentlemen. I saw nothing but effective offense. Nice clothesline. Superkick by Kevin Owens. Yeah. Big splash. Completely steamrolled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bam! Down he goes. And whatever the game plan, it didn't look to work out for Omos there. Owens will be dangerous if he keeps dishing out offense like that. And he denies Omos. Oh, close line. Caught him with a big boot. On the mark. Fends off the attack with an elbow. 
Omos able to counter. How's that for a counter? Ooh! Oh, belly stop! Oh. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. Trying their opponent's arm out. There's a double stop right down the arm. Oh, and the pressure on Omos continues to mount. Omos has to weather a storm here. Uh oh, stop! Omos felt the full force of that one. Dodges the attack just a smidge quicker. And that looked like a rag doll being thrown around. Oh, my goodness. This match may be nearing its limit. And this is, uh, well, it's not looking good. Oh, Moss with great awareness. Oh, what a tackle. Oh, man, he is fired up now. Vicious knee. Waist lock. Able to counter. Look at fighting out. Big right hand. The official sees it and waves off the pen. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Right to the face. My God. Oh, Moss is in a very vulnerable position here. Uh-oh. Stop it! Oh, he's got all of it. Referee breaks the count. Looks like a rope break. This match grinded him down a little. And Omos punished him with that power. Look at the high frog splash. And the cover for the win. Kevin Owens comes up huge with the win. Here is your winner, Kevin Owens. Omos toppled in defeat. It looks like the Goliath Omos met his David in the ring tonight. You here to spy on me, Troy? No, I'm here. Eh, uh, not quite. Survivor Series will be here before we know it, so come on, go find some teammates now, or we'll have to choose for you. Thanks, Troy. What would I do? <laughs> Grayson, shouldn't you be down? That's oh, first for you. Sure. Ah, fine. Good on ya. And same. The following is scheduled for one fall and is for the Undisputed WWE Universal Championship. Grayson Waller is in full effect. You think he could maybe dial it down to half? Waller loves to talk the talk, but can he really walk the walk? He certainly can. Just watch and learn. You can make friends or you can make money in this business. And Waller's gonna make a lot of money.
It's the journeyman who's now on a journey to greatness. A once forgotten man who is now etched in the annals of WWE history. This is inspiration personified. Sure, but he better be careful or he might find out what happens when an underdog becomes overrated. It usually doesn't end well for them. There's nothing left to do but saddle up and get this one started. Introducing the challenger from Sydney, Australia, weighing in at 206 pounds, Grayson Waller! And his opponent from Accra, Ghana, weighing in at 210 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal! Champion, the Virgil Hero. Feel the atmosphere. Everyone's on pins and needles. The WWE Universe knows just how much this title means. These two are no strangers to each other. In fact, if they didn't constantly beat the hell out of each other, I'd say they might even be friends. Grayson Waller doesn't have many friends. That man has made a pure ambition. Well, he is a smart guy then. He's either going to walk out with the WWE Universal Championship, or if rumors are true, the chance to be on a War Games team. As the legs wrap, Fisherman Suplex. Stomping down. Grayson now undertaking a barrage. Grayson has to start volleying back somehow. Some unique offense in store here. Dragon Sleeper applied. Oh my God, from the top rope. Dragon Sleeper locked in. Oh my God. Oh. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. Uh oh. Waller wasting no motion on the counter. Reversals, reversals, and more reversals. Calf kick right on point. He is efficient and dangerous with his offense thus far. Nothing is going to stop him now. Powerless position to be in right now. Pop up cutter. Uh oh, this is just vicious. No, oh, no, no, that'll break his arm. Vicious. Watch this incredible core strength. Up and up. Regal Plex. And into the count. The challenger wriggles out at one. I think this match still has a play and possum. Shoulders down. And the champion gets a shoulder up just before two. He couldn't make much of that pin attempt. And Jagiri. Right on the mark. It's always disorienting taking those hits above the shoulders. 
Great reversal. Opportunity now for Waller to capture some momentum. But he still has more work to do to get this fully in his favor. Goodness gracious. You gotta wonder if there's more animosity in this match than we previously thought. Uh-oh. What a takedown. Fujiwara armbar. Oh, Fujiwara armbar applied. The champion hoping to take the arm out of commission. Oh, wow. Full Nelson applied. Oh, and a face buster. And shoulders are down. Two count just after two. You have to think this match is starting to take its toll. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Arm ringer applied. Down for a European arm breaker. Fuck DDT. The sound of this crowd is deafening, and he's asking for more. Hooking the arm for a Fujiwara armbar. Ah, oh, Fujiwara armbar applied. Trying to fight with a hurt arm is no easy task. With the counter. And Waller puts a quick stop to the momentum that was mounting against him. Now's a chance for him to get back into this match. Calf kick right on point. A steady stream of moves taking out Waller. But Grayson can't let this flourish derail him. Instead delivers the inverted DDT. Going right after the neck. Neck breaker. Oh, not today. Caught by surprise with the DDT. Counter by Grayson. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extends your elbow. Ooh, jarring right hand. Somersault look prettier. Is it enough? And he breaks the count quickly. This isn't even close to over. Elbow drop. Getting up, but doesn't have a clue what's coming at him. A totally ill-advised decision there. Maybe slight hesitation there it caused the outcome. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. There's a roll through. Rolls through, super kick. Grayson is in big jeopardy here. Kick to the gut. Push to fake. But champions need to finish the job. Looking for the victory. Two. Oh, he was off. Just barely able to kick out. I thought the champ had it in the bag. This is how much the championship means. You can see the sweat. Oh, diving leg drop. Face breaker. Is it enough? The cover. Two. Retains the title. Here is your winner. Universal!
I like the group I've assembled. Team SmackDown is ready for war games and whatever else Miz has planned. Good. I'll let the boss know. We're cutting away from Cody Rhodes' title defense because SmackDown superstars have invaded backstage. Is this part of their war games team? Is here to back up his partner. Let's get back to ringside as we monitor this developing situation. Cody Rhodes has successfully defended his World Heavyweight Championship, but has no idea what's transpired backstage during this match. Well, he's about to find out now. I think this is the debut of SmackDown's War Games team. And what a lineup they've assembled. This doesn't look good for the American Nightmare. He's in trouble. He might not even make it to War Games. And there's their captain, the WWE Universal Champion. Cody Rhodes is surrounded. Hold on. Cody has backup. It's his Survivor Series teammates. Well, at least some of them after Carl Anderson was taken out. This is about to explode. Here we go. Hold on. Not on my bloody show, gentlemen. Save it for war games. Come on, Regal. I wanted to see them fight. Team Raw's side is at a disadvantage. Smart move, if you ask me. That's enough. And there it is. And Regal gets nailed by SmackDown's champion. That did not go as planned. You think? William Regal has been a mentor to the so-called Dark Horse. Invading Raw was a slap in the face. And now he just took a literal blow from his supposed friend accidental or not well for now it looks like team smackdown is going to retreat this didn't break into an all-out war but they delivered a strong message here tonight i agree corey we didn't know who would represent the blue brand survivor series and now we know it's going to be an epic battle inside that double-sided cage i can't wait We did what Miz asked, and honestly, it didn't turn out that great. I never wanted to assault William Regal. What do you mean? It was must-see TV! Especially the part when you nailed Regal! Good stuff, pal. Whatever. So what does our genius GM have planned next? And where is he even? I haven't seen him anywhere since I got to the building. Well, with, um... Tensions escalating, and who knows how Raw would retaliate. Miz thought it was better if he stayed home this week. So, he ran away again. Got it. Look, what's more important is Regal is sending AJ Styles here for a War Games preview match. And Miz has so much confidence in his team captain that he wants you to decide who should fight Styles. Okay. And you want my decision now? Yes. And Miz also said if you make the wrong call and we lose, then it's completely on you. So choose wisely. Good. I'll let the boss know. Gentlemen, here comes the phenomenal one. A man who exceeded all expectations in WWE and is now a first ballot Hall of Famer. 
The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one false. Making his way to the ring, representing the OC from Gainesville, Georgia. Weighing in at 218 pounds, the WWE United States Champion, the Phenomenal. AJ's out here to remind everyone just how phenomenal he really is. Still performing at such a high level after over 25 years of competing. Yeah, Cole, at this point, AJ's forgotten more about this business than most will ever know. And there he is, the man who's blazing his trail through WWE. And his opponent, from Accra, Ghana, weighing in at 210 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal champion, the Virgil Hero. It just goes to show you, you can't judge a book by its cover, and you can't judge a wrestler by where they start their career. Match after match, the Dark Horse is turning doubters into believers. The doubts are probably the very thing that fueled him. He really should be thanking those of us who didn't have his back. The reins are off, and it is on. After a bit of an invasion on Raw, the phenomenal AJ Styles and a SmackDown opponent are giving us a preview of the upcoming War Games match at Survivor Series. Yeah, these two will compete at Survivor Series, but a singles match can't really reflect the chaos and destruction of War Games. I hear you, Corey, but any good tactician will take any edge they can get to prepare for such a brutal match. Trying to take away that grip, that range of motion on that end. to a monkey flip. It couldn't have felt good being chucked around like that. Oh, man. And AJ reverses. Oh, my God. Taking out the knee. Oh, man. That'll destroy your ligaments. That pulls back Styles' attack. And to Gary. Right on the mark. As the leg trap, Fisherman suplex. Goes into the pin. He forces a break before the count of two. Not yet. He's one step ahead there. Uh oh. Look for the suplex. No, uh -oh. no, no. Neck breaker. He skirts away, living to fight another day. Heads out of the ring. What's next? Back in under the ropes. Oh! AJ scaling the turnbuckles. He's reeling, slowly getting up. Well, look out. Whoa, what a landing. From ring post to ring side, risking it all paid off. Right to the face. My God. Styles 
Going down low. Into the cap. And the tap out isn't going to do anything. This is just torturous now. to the outside now. Oh, oh, Face breaker. Ooh. Rolling into a monkey flip. Has it hooked in? Inverted vertical suplex. Face breaker. Oh. Arm control applied and a kick right to the midsection. And now Styles is under immense pressure. AJ's gotta assert himself back in this one. And that definitely made solid impact. Styles being measured and could be near. Here it comes. Oh, God, face first. AJ's eyes are glazed over. from AJ. AJ looking to get back in this. Could be a chance for Styles to change the complexion of this match. Great response to AJ there. Wrenching the arm. Driven all the way down for a European arm breaker. And AJ only finds himself on the defensive. AJ's got to find a window to fight back. Hits him with the counter. Yeah, he's able to stop that surge dead in its tracks. Ushigurochi. And the cover for the win. This is it. Shoulder up before the count started. How at this point? You don't even stay down low. Kick to the gun. Twist of fate. Meet him at the pay window. There's two. Kick out. I thought it was finished off for sure. The fight in AJ is still very much alive. He's not going down. Perched up top. Brace for this impact. Like a guillotine. Getting set up for something in the corner. More on the horizon. Uh-oh. Paying it right back with a reversal. Hooked up. DDT. Does he have him here? He wasted no time kicking out there. How on earth could he not keep him down for even one at this point? Come on, AJ caught him. Section. Clearly waiting for that. These two showing how well scouted they each are. And another counter. Shot in the face gets them out of that spot. Drop kick on target. He's starting to struggle here. AJ never afraid to deliver with some extra velocity. Escapes in a nick of time. Kick to the gut. Push the fake. How do you come back from that? That's gotta be it. There's two. And the victory. Here is your winner. The Hero. The Dark Horse is on a roll. For now, Saxton, the WWE Universal title puts a target on his back every time he even enters an arena. If I know Styles, he'll be going over this match tape later on and reevaluating his strategy. Yeah, we can't count AJ out just yet.
We got the win against AJ, but War Games is going to be a whole lot tougher. With you and the rest of the crew we have, I like our chances. Same. Although I do wish we weren't fighting on Miz's behalf. I hear you, but it's bigger than that. So how about we win the match, then we'll work on getting our house in order. Deal. champion is anticipating the entry of one man, Cody Rhodes. The WWE Universe has been waiting for these guys to get their hands on each other for years, but the champ better not overlook the rest of Team Raw, especially AJ Styles. For Team Raw, this fight is personal. Representing blue with his eyes set on War Games supremacy, it's the WWE Universal Champion. And from Accra, Ghana, weighing in at 210 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the Virgil Hero. The captain of Team SmackDown looks intense. You have to think he's looking to get his hands on one man, the World Heavyweight Champion, Cody Rhodes. Universal Champ versus Heavyweight Champ. The WWE Universe has been waiting for these guys to get their hands on each other for years. And I'm right there with them. We're locked and loaded as the battle for supremacy is about to ignite here in War Games. The battle lines are drawn. Red versus blue. Raw versus SmackDown. Champions fill out both sides of the battlefield. But who will lead their team to victory? 
Call me biased, but I think the WWE Universal Champion has put so much work into building the best War Games team possible that I think SmackDown takes it tonight. But can you imagine the chip on the shoulder of Raw Captain and World Heavyweight Champion Cody Rhodes? It was Cody who was on losing end when the Dark Horse became champion so long ago. Cody can exact some revenge tonight. Going right after the neck. Neck breaker. Oh my goodness, launched into the cage. Oh, he knew what was coming. Knew what was coming there. Face breaker. Oh, what a kick. Oh, I love this move. The full Windsor knot is being applied. This is absolutely incredible. All tied up and nowhere to go. And the balance of power is about to shift with this upcoming entrant. Out of the small holding cage to only make way toward the beaches of Normandy. AJ on the receiving end. It's a Gary. Right on the mark. Styles has the momentum against him here. Styles being systematically worked on. Clover leaf stretch. Attacking the spine can instantly limit someone's mobility. Every movement hurts when your back's injured. There it is, the sling blade. Just took a very unpleasant trip from ring to ring. German. Drop kick. Balor retaliates. Time to see what you're made of. Gun check. Oh, so much damage inflicted. Ooh, sharp elbow. Climbing up the wall now, and he's got some crazy idea in mind. Taking flight. That one fails to land. Missed the mark. New entrant about to come in and not a moment too soon. Uh-oh. Look for the suplex. No, no, no. Neckbreaker. Here we go. They look ready to get in there and even things up a little. Yo, oh, great display of strength with the suplex. Ooh, ho, ho. And they're not going to go into this one without a little backup in their corner. Ooh, ooh, stinging kick. Numbers about to be even, but not before he brings in a little backup from the outside. Searching under the ray, thinking something there can give their team a boost. This is incredible. Styles gets out of the way. Devastating kick. Great agility. Missed timing with that springboard. Oh, man. He took a hard landing into the other ring. Being able to pull that off, no one is going to question if you skip going to the gym today. Swing blade by Finn Balor. Gets him with the counter. Eyes are squarely set on Luke here. Counting down the seconds until this match becomes a bit lopsided. And he's just been tossed aside into a new terrain. Here they come, looking to give their team the upper hand as soon as possible. Just going all out with every blow. Netbreaker! Ouch. Enters the ring and is diving head first into the chaos of this match. Going up to the top, what are we going to see here? Using the elbow as a weapon. It's their opponent's oh. leg. Oh.
He's all the way up to the top, and this can only end so many ways. None of them great. No way. Oh, for the love of God. Did you see that? I think we all did. A lunatic jumping off the top of the cage. Hauled himself up on top of the wall. War Games might be about to get even more dangerous. He's in a dangerous situation up there. Where's this headed? Oh, boy! The target was acquired and the warhead did not miss. Consecutive high-risk maneuvers and the pace of this match has certainly picked up. Get to the gun. Luke's in serious danger. We're seconds away from these teams being at even strength. Right to the face. My God. And here we go. They're on a mission to save the day and won't be stopped. Punch. And the brunt of these attacks are focused above the shoulder. It's a very effective and vulnerable spot for Tony. Oh, what a punch. Ring. Punishing their opponent. Loving blows. Great counter. Both competitors showing how well they know one. AJ Styles setting him up a Styles crash. Balor's in a terrible predicament. AJ Styles rolling through. Cow Crusher is a play. Oh, are you kidding me? Officially in the fray. It pays to be coming in and have more friends than foes in the cage. DDT! Taking this match off the mat. Perched up top. Diving leg drop! The WWE Universe giving him an extra shot of adrenaline. Blast off! And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. Look at this 
no quit whatsoever. Ready down elbows and escaping the bear hug. And there's AJ fighting the energy to keep attacking. Styles will keep fighting until he has nothing left. have some sort of strategy in mind. Moonso! Mo Take off! A warning and a challenge from Mysterio. Balor with the kick. Balor on the move. Ow. Basement drop kick. Finds the mark. An agile escape. Down to the board buster. He thinks he has it! Wait, 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 wait. How can that be fair? Come on, Red. Keep these guys in check. Shifts it back. This champion. Cody holds on. Is this it? And he nails the crossroads. Could that do One, it? Two, three. It's over. World Heavyweight Champion Cody Rhodes and Team Raw have just defeated the WWE Universal Champion and SmackDown. It's been several years since the legend of the Dark Horse was born, built on a victory over Cody Rhodes that many said was a fluke due to the interference of Roman Reigns. Did the World Heavyweight Champion just prove everyone right? I have a feeling these two will meet again down the line with a lot more at stake. We'll see about that, Michael. Unbelievable. Until then, this is Team Raw and the American Nightmares Night to stand tall over WWE.